We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. These are different from the ruins in Mexico. Your dad's notebook say anything for you? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest or... Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. me with this. On three, two, one.
Laura, are you okay? Are you okay? Help me with this. Your back looks bad. I'm gonna go make camp. Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, from himself, but I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, at the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of his shell to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? Panic, probably. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, and lose everything else? No way. I like this world. It's... It's not perfect. But everything I love now is in it. treasure, the adventurer Lara Croft must out with the king, reach the forbidden tomb and solve the mystery of the White Queen.
the way will be fraught with trials. Laura, are you doing your maths homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon, taunting. Looks like there's something up there, in the crow's nest. Lara climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. Ah! Ah! Oh brave Sir Knight, victim of the King's curse, doomed to stand vigil, warning away others from the forbidden tomb. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. Castle gates are well guarded. There's a reason our hero doesn't use the front door. Amazing! Croft has entered a burial chamber that has not been disturbed in millennia. White Queen, locked away, but not forgotten. The excavation will soon reveal the secrets of this site. Ugh. <sighs> 
tumbles into the darkness. Now for the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Kingsguard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. The castle tower is taller than she thought. Our hero continues climbing, looking for another way in. Ugh. Ugh. Our hero spies another entrance. Shoo! Go on! Lara confronts the extraordinary height and danger and pushes it from her mind. Covers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. Ugh. She's so close. She can almost touch it, but an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Ugh. Ugh. Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. Spots a way in below. She will have to be careful. Why do I do these stupid things?
last, she enters the forbidden tomb. By night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely. Coordinates might have something to do with the globe. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? A Byzantine scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due. Emperor Justinian. This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. Unlock her love's release. It worked! The cup of St. John. The apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine. But after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake, and he drank the wine unharmed. The head of King David. From a shepherd to a king. Imagine that! A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. The Sun King, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long standing war between France and Spain. The poor queen. Maria Theresa died a paid need to find the White Queen. Ugh. <coughs> Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. A Yatiri, a South American healer. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. No matter where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? I wonder who those two dogs are. Animal skulls, an omen of death, and symbols of great change. This is from Colombia. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. This is the kind of armour that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. 
I wonder what they found? A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. 25th Dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. This looks Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. Hmm, a Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. Great bat swings and fur. Shield reflects the light beam. Ugh. Queen. Trapped. I have to help her. With light, unlock her last release. Amazing. Her heart pounding, our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, I'm not afraid of bats. I'm not afraid of anything. Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. Oh, 
Amelia, this is very, very important. I cannot abandon my responsibilities just on the verge. You are always on the verge. Your obsession is destroying this family. Obsession? I'm obsessed. You are missing your daughter's childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain?